Hello, I'm Tim that train guy. And I would just like to start this update video off by just saying thank you. Thank you everybody who has seen my content, has shared it, has liked it, has even subscribed to my channel. I'd like to thank you all for just being a part of this. Um, my goal for this year was to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. And then it went to 150 in April when we hit 100, or to 150 when we in April. Um, but now I'm at 175 as of the recording of this video. When I moved down here to Florida, I was at 75 all the way back in February. But now I'm at 175. We're 100 subscribers up than when we than where we were at the beginning of the year. Which amazes me that I've come this far. What you doing over there, cat? Um, that I've come this far in just a couple of months, really. So I just like to thank everybody that's interacted with my channel in some capacity. Okay, um, let's talk about future rail fanning stuff. Okay, I'm going on another trip up north. The opportunity presented itself again, and I decided to take it. Um, we're not going to be going to the Strasburg Railroad again. Um, we're going to be going to the Wilmington Western. The other railroad I sort of grew up that well, actually sort of the main railroad I grew up with as a kid. Um, I've already visited it twice on the channel, um, but I had the I'm having the opportunity to film a steam train again, so I'm going to take this. Um, so, well, I can have another steam train on the channel because those pull decent views. And, um, also there might be a couple of other videos from that trip coming up. I don't know. There might be a couple of shorts from the Amtrak train, that's probably for sure, because the shorts are the things that are doing the best on my channel right now. Um, also, in October, I'm going back to the Florida Railroad Museum to film their pumpkin train. That's going to be fun. <laughs> um, so that's the plan. At this point, we're going to go to the Wilmington Western, and we're going to film the pumpkin train. So those will be really the big videos for October. Um, I know it's like the first or second week of, of September right now, but I'm already planning videos for October. Um, so those are the big things coming up. Hopefully, if U.S. Sugar brings 148 out again for the Christmas season, I'll be able to go and film that. Hopefully. Because um, I really want to go film that engine. I missed my other opportunity this year back in May when they towed it out for uh, the last sugar cane train of the year. I completely missed it because I just wasn't informed. And the day I saw it was the day it occurred. And it was like the afternoon. So it, it, the whole event was over at that point kind of angered me a little bit <laughs> that I completely missed it. Um, so yeah, I might go get to see 148 in December for the Christmas run. Hopefully. Um, there might be a couple of Disney videos coming as well. I know it's not really rail fanning related, but um, I'm actually at this point officially a Disney pass holder, so... There might be a couple more Disney videos coming in the future, maybe some Epcot of the uh, train garden, but um, as of now, it's sort of business as usual. Um, there will be, of course, more Amtrak, more Sunrail, maybe another Plant City video in the near future, so get excited. We're uh, coming into the fall season, and hopefully the darn rain will stay off for a little bit. I mean, let's see the last... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> the last, like, month of content has been infiltrated by the rain in some quantity. So, I'm happy to say that the fall season of, is officially coming, and I'll be able to film videos in the sunshine, not in the rain. <laughs> all of the model railroad 
content on my channel. Um, Tim That Train Guy's Model Railroad will be a new, well, I'm going to rename the running session playlist to it, but it will encompass all of the new Model Railroad content, including reviews, running sessions, building the layout itself um, when we finally get it going. Because I haven't uploaded real Model Railroad content since July. Now, it's because of two reasons, pretty much. Number one's the heat. It's been 90 degrees, not, well, actually like 90 to 95 degrees every day for like the last three months. <laughs> and I'm not going to torture myself up here because it's at least 20 to 30 degrees warmer up here on a sunny day than it is outside. So... It's over 100 degrees up here. I have an air conditioner now, but it can only do so much when there's holes in the wall. Um, but at this point, we're getting, we're putting up drywall. Eventually, we'll get to the stage where we can put a table up um, to get the tables up um, and to start really laying track and getting ready to run trains again on the O gauge. At this point... I think we'll be able to do something Model Railroad related in November. And it's it's almost guaranteed we'll get at least something Model Railroad related and done by Christmas. That's at least what we're aiming for at this point. Um, so, hopefully we'll be able to get Model Railroad stuff up and going. I've already purchased some track for the new Model Railroad. We're going to be going a little old school. we got tubular track. It's going to be easier to wire, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than Fast Track. Um, so yeah, stuff, progress has already started on new Model Railroad content. The last time I uploaded something Model Railroad related was in July, so it's been a little bit. And since the new Model Railroad stuff is getting its own intro, um, eventually the rail fanning content will get its own intro as well. But for the time being, it will stay um, as the long format intro that was on the beginning of this video. So, at this point, um, we're in the process of getting Model Railroad content back on the internet. Um, and hopefully, once we do get everything going, we get the layouts up, we get the track down, we get the scenery somewhat started... I'll be able to do like a 50-50 split of model railroad content and rail fanning content. Maybe a couple of theme park vlogs in there occasionally. Hopefully if people watch them. <laughs> um, but at this moment in time, I do apologize for the lack of model railroad content. We're still here. It's, it's still here. I do apologize. But we'll be back to sort of making model railroad content in the uh, near future. Um, so, I thank you for your patience if you subscribe for the Model Railroad content. <laughs> um, also, I do read all the comments that you leave underneath my videos. I appreciate comments. I like seeing them because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like people actually like my content. Um, but yes, I do read the comments. I like the comments. Uh, please do leave them if you have any questions or anything, or even suggestions. I, I wouldn't be opposed to suggestions for my channel of uh, co other content I could do. So if you think you, you, there's something in the area of um, Central Florida that you'd like me to go and see, just leave it in the comments. I'll, I'll definitely read it because I don't get many comments. Um, but... As for really all on my end, I'm pretty good right now. Um, I'm kind of out of ideas. That's why I'm asking for your proposals for my video. That would that would be nice because I'm kind of out of ideas. I don't really know what else to do with the channel. I mean, I've seen good growth with it, so I'm going to keep going. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for getting me to this point um, at 175 subscribers. 
that's amazing. I mean, I started this channel last year um, in May, so getting to this point in just a year and like a year and a half is, is great. Um, I've rambled on for way, way too long. Um, so, thanks for watching. Um, there'll be a couple more Railfan content. Uh, things coming your week in the com uh, coming your way in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for lasting with me this long in the video because I rambled on for way too long.